Hi, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are a new viewer, then welcome to my YouTube channel. So lastly, I've uploaded a vlog regarding how to get placed at Infosys, how to get into Infosys in various ways. So what are the opportunities Infosys is giving the freshers as well as the experience to get placed at Infosys. So yeah, I have been posting vlogs on aptitude series as well, but I don't think that is gonna work because Aptitude comprises of so many topics that I cannot handle it one by one since people are preparing themselves for the interviews and recruitment and now the companies are mass hiring like Infosys is mass hiring and I cannot go that slow. Being a working professional as well as a DIL, I have my own responsibilities that I have to look upon. I cannot do the vlogs on daily basis. So yeah, I have come up with a very good idea that makes you people to clear aptitude run of any company okay so you just have to follow these four steps i'm going to teach in this vlog so that you will be a pro in clearing the aptitude run without any further delay let's get started yes before moving on to the steps to follow let me tell you guys like what exactly aptitude is like what exactly aptitude consists of so aptitude is a combination of quantitative aptitude reasoning and verbal these are the three sections which comprises a complete aptitude round okay so let's go one by one first step first step is nothing but like the list of topics so what you have to do is like take a notebook and just write down the list of topics you want to work on in an order order from ascending to descending in the difficulty level i can suggest because see i have seen so many people who just lose their confidence in the first hand itself like in the first topic itself like they will be uh, taking up the difficult level topic and they will be trying to solve the questions without getting a proper knowledge on that and that makes them think that okay this topic is so difficult what about other topics i cannot do this i'll stop it here itself no that doesn't work like that you have to go from easy to hard easy intermediate and advanced so that's how i suggest you people to take a roadmap while solving or kickstarting your aptitude so just start from the easiest topic numbers are the easiest topic i can say then i have not written in the order but yeah these are the list of topics which i worked on more okay so there are numbers, percentages, probability, ratio and proportions, ages, time and work, profit and loss, speed and distance, etc. You have more than these topics as well. So what I suggest is take a notebook, write down the topics and just start. Remember that you have to start from the easiest topic to boost your confidence or else you'll definitely lose your confidence. I've seen in so many people, they have come up asking me that this is so hard, uh, we are not able to solve it. Please provide us the tricks and techniques to solve. It is not like that. It's really, really easy if you take it in a right way. So this is the first step you guys have to follow. Let's talk about the second step, how to prepare. So you have taken down all the list of topics you want to work on but how to prepare so let's talk about all the three sections that comprises the aptitude first section is quantitative aptitude as i've already told you guys in my previous vlogs that quantitative aptitude is nothing but mathematics and calculations so for that reason you will require the formulas then you will have to keep a notebook for this particular section while solving the problems, right, you will be getting some of the equations, some couple of equations you have to solve so that you have to get the value of x or y or whatever. Okay, so for that, you will have to know the formulas in order to get the value of x and y. So I suggest you people to write down all the mathematical formulas in the notebook and summarize it daily. This particular thing helps you guys a lot. Believe me formulas helps you a lot it saves your time okay so coming to the different problems different problems what kind of uh, different problems is she referring to yeah different scenario problems so for example uh, if we take ages right if we take the ages uh, let's take an example like ram is of this age sham is of this age ram is twice the age of sham five years ago what will we his age after five years five years hence 
okay so this is one of the scenario solve it and understand the scenario then next question next question will be the same scenario with the different name and different numbers you already know the scenario you know how to uh, solve that then why are you solving the same kind of scenario problems skip skip that and see to the next scenario check on the next scenario so that you will be able to solve all kind of scenario all types of scenarios so for example if you face a question which comprises of two kind of different scenario if you already know how to solve both of the scenarios individually then you will be able to solve the whole question isn't it so that's why i'm saying you have to deal with different different scenario problems don't get stuck with the single scenario okay clear yes so first part is done the second part is reasoning so reasoning is like for qa we need formulas for reasoning we need to understand the theory we need to know the tricks to solve and again coming to the problems you will have to deal with the different kind of scenarios so coming to the theory and tricks what kind of topics comes under reasoning reasoning is nothing but like calendars clocks blood relations cubes and dice images and uh, ages see all these kind of topics comes under reasoning reasoning is nothing but it is kind of relation this is that that is this then what is that after this so these kind of questions are reasoning okay so for that you have to understand the question first theory and then tricks to solve when you understand you will know the trick to solve the particular scenario question okay so in reasoning it's really really important to understand the question before solving and you will have to see through all the different kind of scenarios okay reasoning is done so i suggest you guys to keep two different notebooks for two different sections okay am i clear yeah so coming to the verbal verbal section verbal section comprises of english related questions mainly grammar vocabularies what kind of topics comes under verbal is idioms antonyms synonyms comprehension reading error identification fill in the blanks passage questions etc so these kind of topics come under verbal so for this one i don't think like you really need a notebook you can just manage in between these two but for these two sections you definitely have to carry two different notebooks to solve so i hope these two steps are clear has i've told you guys that there are four steps to crack aptitude let's see what are those two last steps okay yes coming to the two last steps you have to follow in order to clear the aptitude round let's see the third step is websites to practice so in the second step i told how to prepare then the third question would be where to prepare so yeah websites to practice is like where do you get the questions or where do you get the solutions like with good explanation as well if you answer right or wrong the explanation will be given there it's very very easy for you to understand the question in their given pattern like it's not like see one question can be solved in multiple different ways one way to solve the question will be given by one website and another way will be given by another website so i suggest you people to just go through all these websites for practice so indiabix.com is one of the most known website for aptitude practice i used to practice in this particular website so i suggest you guys to start from indiabix and then prep and start job test prep freshers world ambition box face prep geeks for geeks all these websites are very very helpful for your practicing sessions you will get different kind of questions different scenario based questions in this particular websites of all the topics it covers all the topics from quantitative aptitude that you can deal with okay so coming to the freshers world right so freshers world is having an youtube channel where the educator has explained each and every techniques and tricks in her videos like it is just flawless like she has explained it top notch i would not be able to make vlogs on aptitude sessions so i am suggesting you guys to just go and subscribe to this precious world 
it's really really helpful it's not kind of promotion i just want to help you guys with aptitude yeah so these are the websites which helps you guys to practice the aptitude so this is the third step coming to the fourth step once you practice you will have to undergo the assessments so see you practice well but if you don't challenge yourself daily then what's the use you know uh, you will have to challenge yourself first and then you have to challenge the people around you that gives you more confidence isn't it so self assessment is a must so you have to be able or capable to solve a question in a minute that's the time management i would suggest you guys to follow and keep up because um there will be uh, some 67 questions you will have to deal with in just one hour that is 60 minutes you won't get one minute for one question as well so then how do you going to solve all the questions right so time management is very very important so start solving it in a faster mode and try to solve a question in a minute everyone will be having your smartphones with you right just turn on the stopwatch for one minute and try to solve a single question within that time period that will show your capacity to solve a problem okay yeah and coming to the mock tests so mock tests also like we have these websites which gives you the mock tests for aptitude that is india bix career ride aptitude test and testbook.com so please do follow all these websites to start your journey with self assessment okay so i suggest you guys to spend at least 2 hours a day for aptitude or else this won't work all these steps i have told you you have to follow all these four steps in order to crack any aptitude round of any mncs definitely you're going to thank me after clearing the aptitude round i know because so many people have dm me in insta saying that you have helped me with aptitude round and technical round because giving your uh, feedbacks or your experience or the techniques or the tricks or some inputs from you these things have helped us a lot and i have got placed in this company this company i was so happy listening to all those you know so if you guys follow all these four steps i have told you guys in this vlog you will definitely able to crack aptitude round in any of the company trust me okay i hope this video helps and uh, yes uh, coming to the aptitude series i'm going to stop that series because i've told you the reason already yeah uh, i hope this particular vlog is the end of the aptitude round details so that the, these are the steps i followed in my uh, journey so i've got placed at infosys isn't it so you will definitely get placed in a good company more than what you deserve but for that you need to give your efforts without getting distracted i wish you guys all the best for your aptitude journey and i hope you all get placed at good companies thank you all for supporting guys and thank you all for watching this vlog and uh, please do subscribe like share and comment share this vlog to all those who are starting their journey towards aptitude i hope this vlog helps them Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned and I'll see you in my next vlog. Lots of love. Mm -hmm.